Una de las principales razones por las que estamos en Melbourne es para mejorar nuestro nivel de inglés. Hemos vuelto al pasado, a preparar la mochila, a ir a clase, a estudiar por las tardes y estamos aprendiendo muy rápido. Pablo está en un curso general de inglés y yo estoy preparando el CAE. Nos encanta el ambiente en la escuela, las clases, los profesores y además hemos hecho muy buenos amigos. Aquí os dejamos un pequeño reportaje que hemos hecho de nuestra escuela, Discover English. Discover English is a very modern school. We're in the centre of the city. Um, Melbourne is generally voted as one of the most livable cities in the world. Uh, the main course is just a general English course, and then we have a few other uh, courses which are more specialised. Test preparation classes, um, you know, things like IELTS, the Cambridge, um, the Cambridge classes. We've got free classes in the morning and afternoon on grammar, and even we have a drama class as well. Um, but it's you know. Uh, the focus of Discover is really a kind of the student experience, and so we get students from all over the world. Um, we've got students from Asia, Europe, South America, everywhere. As a teacher, if you don't have an understanding of the student's linguistic background, and also, in some cases, the cultural background, um, it's very hard to point out to students why they might be making errors or why they may not be seeing things the same way that we might in English, for example. So the teachers at Discover come from all over. They're not just from Australia. Um, I'm Australian now, but I'm originally from the US. Um, so we have teachers from the US, from the UK, from South Africa, from New Zealand. Um, so you get a real mix of accents and backgrounds and that kind of stuff. It's, it's fantastic. It's very, very easy going. It's always, um, you know, there's a myriad of different nationalities, cultures, which is uh, one of the triggers that made me come to a, a language school. The best part of their experience is spending time with the other students. You know, when I have my students from Japan, meeting someone from Brazil, they've never met anybody from that country before, and so they get really excited and they get to go on all these different activities together. Students learn probably more from each other than they do from the teacher. Uh, maybe in Japan, uh, when we when we take class, we usually we don't say my opinion, J just hear uh, what teachers say. Uh, but here, a lot of pe people say their opinion. It's very different from Japan. In Korea, uh, we are learning English to take a test well, not to speak English. So yeah, I mean at Discover we really focus on the communicative method, right? We focus a lot more on really communicating in English and working on your speaking skills and your listening skills, not just, you know, completing grammar exercises and working in a workbook. I mean, that stuff helps and it has its place, um, but we really try to make sure that the students learn how to actually communicate in English. My job is just being, just uh, setting up situations, designing activities in classrooms which really are about fostering those relationships. Um, so there's lots of talking, lots of conversations and discussions and debates and that kind of stuff. And humour is a massive part of that. So we always try and make a joke or something like that because it just opens people up. Discover English have a lot of activity after school. That's why uh, when I choose uh, school, I thought uh, this, if I go to Discover English, maybe I I could make a lot of friends. So we have lots of activities for them, like going to the night market, going to the beach, going wine tasting, you know, going to the zoo. Um, there's lots of different things to do around Melbourne, and when you do those activities, you know, you're using English in the real world, and you're also spending time with students from lots of different countries and with lots of different accents and lots of different cultures, and um, so it's a real education in that sense. Melbourne is a very, um, very vivid city, 
Um, there are heaps of things to do. There's always like events everywhere, um, festivals, live music everywhere. You know, it's very artistic, many musical venues and arts exhibitions. You always find something to do, so yeah, you actually have a good time. The beauty is that the classes never finish. Basically, you study and when you walk out the door, you're surrounded by the subject matter and it's pretty much impossible to get away from it, which consequently means you're going to improve a lot faster. And you can actually test what you're learning. Um, you have the opportunity to learn, use, get feedback, see if it works. Um, and not just that, you start to understand the cultural reasons why the language exists the way it does which is, for me, probably the number one benefit of studying in a city like Melbourne. After school, go to the beach to, to do sunbathe. Sunbathe. Sun. Then, then, no, 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 sunbathe. Yeah, beach. Go to beach after school. Okay. Good life. Yeah, very good life. Yeah, very, yeah. No stress. No stress, yeah. no stress. No worries, mate. No worries. No worries, mate.